Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Sunday Live activation. So we just had a solar eclipse yesterday, and it is also a new moon. So I'll be talking a little bit about that, and we'll be doing a channeled activation with the Lyran beings or the feline beings. I've had some requests to connect with the feline beings, and they've been coming up a lot lately for me as well, especially since I just got my new kitty, who I found out the other day that he is actually Arcturian um, and Syrian, but he's still my Lyran baby because the feline genetics originate from Lyra. So I thought that was pretty cool. I um, looked at Kylo, my kitten, the other day, and I saw for a split second, I saw his eyes as almond Arcturian eyes. So he's in the other room napping right now. He will be assisting us also. Um, some of So he has an Arcturian version that I've seen. And then he's also, he takes the form of a large blue feline being. So I thought that was pretty cool. What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Typical skeptic. Hi, Leah, Patrick. I saw Patrick say something funny. Thundercats. Yes, exactly. So... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you guys probably know about the feline beings. If you don't, um, they're among the oldest uh, beings in our galaxy, very ancient. And a lot of us actually have had incarnations in Lyra or Sirius. So the so originally the feline beings come from the Lyra constellation. And this is millions, possibly even billions of years ago. A lot of us started there in this galaxy. They were the, Lyra was the first humanoid, like two arms, two legs beings in our Milky Way galaxy. Um, so there's different types of Lyrans. Um, there's the feline beings and then there's other types. I've seen blue beings with no hair. They look more humanoid. That's some of my other star family. Um, and yeah, so a lot of us have lifetimes as that. And if you haven't had lifetimes as that, which probably 90% of the people that I do star origins readings for and look in the Akashic records have had a life on Lyra. It, it's very, very uh, common. Katie, what's up, Katie? There are blue feline pushettes in Sirius too. Yeah, I need to meditate on Kylo, my kitten, and see, just find out more information on his past. I need to do an Akashic Records reading on him. I'm super excited about that. But also, so um, the, the Cat Whisperer lady, who I'd like to have her on the podcast, whenever she did the session for uh, Kylo, she said he was top five, maybe top 10 of the highest frequency cats he's ever done a she's ever done a session with. So he's a very high vibe kitty, which is awesome. That's cool. He's my partner now. <laughs> uh, Kathy asks, what about bird-like Lyran beings, or is that Venus? There are avians in Lyra, too, ancient Lyra, yes. And then I've also, uh, apparently, blue avians um, have also, also come from Venus. So this is going over, like, millions, possibly even billions of years ago. And what happened with the Lyrans, the beings on Lyra, um, there was an attack, and there's something called the Lyran Wars, which um, basically they were attacked. Their their planets were destroyed, uh, taken, like all their resources taken. Um, the Ring Nebula was taken, which I believe is probably a portal. It's a very beautiful nebula um, in the Lyra constellation. So then the Lyrans were forced to to basically flee the ones who survived to flee and they spread across the galaxy. So some of them went to the star Sirius and they just kind of like spread all over the place. So um, yeah, if you have any memories of seeing like, like bombs or destruction or your planet being destroyed, you're, that's probably, you're having, you're probably having flashbacks of Lyra. So that was a pretty traumatic time. Um, that's a, a, a common thing that a lot of us are healing at this time. Um, but so the Lyran beings, they're very, very, like, they're, they're very warrior-like, very, very strong, very courageous, that lion energy. They're like fierce protectors. They're amazing, very strong beings. So they're going to be assisting us with uh, this activation today. Let me... Check the chat real quick. 
Yep, white lions. I've seen the first feline being that I saw was a white lion from the star Sirius. Yep, beautiful. They are beautiful. Cat lady in the house. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm excited. So this will really be about um, kind of setting space for you guys to uh, go through a transformation for the feline beings from Sirius, from Lyra, or wherever else to come and assist us with this, help us connect with their energy, and also help you to connect with your feline being guides and your star family. So I want to hold space for that, as well as tuning into the fiery ascension energies of the solar eclipse and the new beginning energies also of the new moon. So there's a lot, you know, just a lot going on right now. And we're also shedding uh, shackles. They're showing me visions of shackles right now. We've been, we've had a lot of, you know, just kind of like blocks imposed on us, plus our own personal blocks that we are working through and dissolving right now. Um, to access and embody Christ consciousness. So we'll be doing that today. Also, I saw Benji in here. Hi, Benji. I haven't seen you in forever. <laughs> nice to see you. Hopefully you found my new Instagram because my old one was deleted by Instagram. So I had to make a new one. Um, so there were a few people who, uh, asked about the Lyrans and I've been seeing them a lot. So they want to help. And I'm going to have to keep this one just a little bit shorter because, um, it's my aunt's birthday today. So I'm going to go make it to her party, um, after that. But yeah, it's mind blowing. I, I, it's crazy to think that there are actually like feline beings, um, out in the galaxy, but there are. So let me see what else. So this will be about new beginnings, releasing what no, what no longer serves us to help you connect with these beings. And they were, the Lyrans really wanted us to work on our heart and our solar plexus. This is about stepping into our power and then receiving the light codes from the sun and all of the frequencies hitting earth right now into our DNA, activating our DNA, activating more of our multidimensionality, which by the way, if you'd like to learn more about activating your DNA or would like more channeled sessions on that, I have a uh, DNA activation workshop that also talks about how to connect with your star family. And then I have the DNA activation kits, which is a full uh, six week to three month long program. So you can Check those out in the description if you'd like to learn more on DNA activation. But we're going to do a little bit of that today. And I also wanted to mention, so the other day I woke up and received a message, uh, received a vision of a, a collapse coming, a financial, some sort of a financial collapse coming, I believe around Christmas time. And before you freak out, I truly believe that this is going to go more smoothly than we think it is. So don't be afraid. The old system needs to collapse in order for us to have, you know, something that actually works. And if you remember on my messages from the future video, which is pinned at the top of my page, if you want to go check it out, it was all about uh, 2023 and beyond from uh, the Galactic Federation one of their predictions was that around Christmas time, something was going to happen that would increase abundance on the planet and decrease poverty on the planet. So I believe this is actually right around the corner, like it's finally about to happen. So don't, don't be in fear, of course. Um, and it may be a good idea to uh, just kind of stock up on some essentials just in case, like water, maybe get some food um, just in case. And yeah, I'll let you guys know whenever I get more information on that, um, meditate on that more and see what the star beings have to say about this. But they were talking about this um, back whenever 2023 first started in the beginning of the year. So I believe like all everything's happening all at once, past, present, future. <clears throat> so like we're, we're actually way ahead of the game. We're just down here living it from a first person perspective. And uh, the star beings are of course, assisting us um, in all of that. Do you have Pleiadian? 
Yep, it is important to sit up straight during these activations to align the chakras. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I guess we will uh, go ahead and get started. So big changes are coming. Uh, a lot, just many, many shifts. But what the most important thing that we could be doing right now is focusing on our own inner healing and activation, activating our DNA, connecting and embodying our higher selves, increasing our light, raising our frequency, tapping into Christ consciousness and bringing the the 5D onto earth. That's the most important thing. All right. Are you guys ready? Greetings, everyone. Okay. All right. So this one, since this one's going to be a little bit shorter, we're going to go ahead. Oh, actually, let me show you guys some photos real quick of the feline being so that you guys can uh, tap into their energy more. I found some beautiful photos of the feline beings. Okay, so just kind of take a look at these pictures and tune into their energy. So there's frequencies in these photos, light codes in these photos. And even looking at depictions of extraterrestrials can help you connect, really help you connect with these beings. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me make sure you can see that. Okay, it looks like you can. <clears throat> She's beautiful. And if you notice, in ancient Egypt, I've had a, a past lifetime come up where I was a feline being 13 feet tall in ancient Egypt. And if you notice, the a lot of the depictions uh, in ancient Egypt, they show these feline beings like Sekhmet and bird beings like Thoth. So they were actually depicting these beings. They called them you know, recent, we, we think of them as gods, but they were actually extraterrestrial beings here helping to teach. <laughs> that was Tony, Tony Rodriguez, me and Tony at a, the, uh, a conference last year. I really like this one. She's beautiful. She looks like a white lion or maybe that's a male. Female. This one really resonates to me. And here we go. Can you just feel that the power, their energy, solar plexus? They're amazing protectors too. So if you ever have, if you're ever experiencing something or or that's negative, experiencing negative energy or negative beings messing with you, you can also call in the feline beings for protection. <clears throat> I found these. I think they may be AI generated. I'm not sure. I found them online looking up uh, Lyran beings. Okay. Okay. Yep. You can feel their energy through the photos. It's amazing. And before we get started real quick, um, I've partnered with Hopewell Farms CBD, which is a, a local business, a starseed couple that I met through the Journey to Truth conference. They have very, very high quality CBD. They do energy work on it. And I actually started taking this um, a year and a half ago after a health scare. And it's really, really helped my health with uh, meditation with helping me to sleep. I take it every night before bed, and it also does a lot for your insights. The benefits are endless. So I partnered with Hopewell Farms to offer you guys 10% off if you would like to try their CBD with code Lily10. There's a link in the description. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So today I'll be using the heart chakra bowl. <laughs> that last photo made me cry. I don't know why, just but tears started rolling down. It's because it resonates. That's your family. Okay, if everybody would like to go ahead and get in a comfortable position, even if you are not an avid meditator, I'm going to take this off. It's a little hot. Uh, just listen to the sound of my voice. So I channel through an additional third eye in my heart chakra, uh, channeling the frequencies of these beings. So you can just listen to the sound of my voice and the sound of this bowl. And we'll go ahead and get started. So see what comes up for you. You may actually have contact, a contact experience with these feline beings. Well, that's what we're doing right now. But just be open and see what happens. You may receive a visit from your star family. So go ahead and take a few deep breaths in, breathing light into your body. Breathing light in through your throat, spreading down into your shoulders, your arms, this light with every breath, releasing any tension and fully relaxing your muscles. This light continues down your chest, your abdomen, down your legs, calves, to the tips of your toes. And now we will go ahead and create sacred space around each and every one of us. Calling in Archangel Michael of the highest love and light, the warrior protector angel. Calling in Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, and Uriel. These are the archangels of the four directions, north, east, south, and west. Visualize, feel, or even just know that these beings come in, bringing a bright light, covering the walls, clearing the energy of the room, holding each side of your energetic field, declaring this space sacred. Now we call in Archangel Metatron of the above space. Metatron comes down from the grand central sun, down through space, and brings the golden Christ grid in through the top of your crown chakra, focusing on the top of your head for a moment. Your crown chakra begins to expand and open as it fills with this beautiful Christ consciousness light. Crown chakra opens, and this light continues down into your third eye, opening your third eye, into your throat, opening your throat, and Metatron anchors it into your heart. Your heart chakra opens as it fills with light. Now calling on Sandalphon of the below space, bringing up the 5D crystalline grid of the earth, a beautiful platinum light, bringing this up through the earth, up to the earth's surface, into the chakras below your feet, in your feet, a platinum light, into your root chakra, your root chakra opens, 
your sacral chakra opens, your solar plexus opens, and then anchoring this light into your heart. Now see yourself held in every single direction by light, perfectly grounded. We now call in the feline beings of Sirius and Lyra, of the highest love and light, our star families of the highest love and light, angels, archangels of the highest love and light, all of our guides and ascension teams come be here with us now to assist with this activation. Feel the energy shift as we are joined by these amazing beings. And now see yourself in a beautiful place, maybe in space, in another realm. Surrounded by these feline beings in your star family. The feline being step forward and greet you. And now we connect with the sun, our sun, the solar energies to assist in our ascension. We also call in and connect with the star Sirius, a big, beautiful blue star, calling in the archangels from the star Sirius. You may visualize these suns and also connecting with the archangels and the son of the Pleiades. See these three sons and the archangels. See these suns sending light into your body. Rays of light, rays of light codes. As you sit there, spine upright. See rays of light in codes, sacred geometry, entering into your your DNA, the cells of your body, your energetic field. And now your solar plexus. Focusing on your solar plexus near your ribs. See the light from these three suns and frequencies coming from the feline beings entering into your solar plexus. You may begin to feel a sensation in this area of your body. See the light and frequencies disintegrating any interference within your solar plexus, any old traumas that can be cleared, any gunk that can be cleared from your solar plexus, which cuts you off from your power. See this light, this bright light, 
disintegrating any interference as it fills your solar plexus. Your solar plexus begins to expand. and upgrade breathe this light into your solar plexus with every breath visualize or feel or just know with each passing breath your solar plexus grows bigger and stronger and brighter Breathing light and power into it. Do this for a moment. Your solar plexus starts to look like a beautiful big sun. And now the feline beings surround you now, stepping forward as you continue to receive this light. One of them puts their hand up and sends you healing frequencies and upgrades coming from their hand and their mind, their intention, and sends it straight to your heart. Feel your heart begin to melt with love. Feel your heart beginning to open and blossom as it fills with light. Your heart is your portal. It is the key. See your heart opening up. As it is coded with these codes and frequencies, upgrading, allowing you more access to your higher self, to who you truly are, helping you to remember who you truly are. And while this is happening, you are still receiving light codes from the three suns, from your star family around you, other benevolent beings, Andromedans. Coding your energetic field. With every breath, you become stronger and brighter. And now take a second to look within your heart the feline beings suggest to see who you truly are, to connect with who you truly are. Look within your heart now and see what you see. It may be a higher version of you, just who you truly are. It may be a lifetime as a feline being, Lyran, Syrian, angelic being. Look within your heart and connect with this energy. The love and wisdom of source.
This version of you steps forward and blesses you, giving you a gift to help you remember. And now they send light into your third eye. Focusing on the center of your forehead for a second as you receive these upgrades, maybe memories, wisdom, directly into your third eye. This will help you to remember who you are, to see the truth, to access your deep inner wisdom, wisdom from other lifetimes, your third eye pulsing and expanding. Now the feline beings surrounding you step forward And they would like to show you something or share a message with you. So open up to receive this message now, however it may come. Thanking these beings. If you'd like, you may offer a gift to them. It may be a crystal, a flower, whatever you imagine as a token of gratitude. And before we come back, let's set the intention. These are new beginnings for you. New beginnings for Earth. What do you see for yourself? What new beginnings would you like to manifest? Set a few intentions. You may want to say a few affirmations. And this also helps clear any blockages. See yourself living the life that you love. Feel your power, wisdom, strength. And now see yourself standing up. The light from these three suns has now completed their upgrades. Say goodbye and thank you to all of the beings and star family surrounding you. Feeling lighter, feeling brighter. The wisdom and upgrades and codes that you've received through this transmission will unfold through the coming days, weeks, even months as you are ready to access and integrate. You may now begin coming back to your body. You can always work with the Syrians, Lyrans, feline beings. They are here watching over you, guiding. And whenever you are ready, you may want to wiggle your fingers and toes and begin coming back. And then let me know how you feel, how your experience was. Breathing in and grounding this energy deep into your being, deep into the earth.
Perfect. <laughs> Aww. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Tara, perfect. Uh, Benji says, always golden oranges, orangish aura from the archangels. Amazing. Christine, amazing activation once again. Gotta run. Thank you, Christine. Patrick gifted a crystal and Sasquatch. Got it to give to a Lyran. Oh, I love Sasquatch. I've been seeing them around a lot lately, too. Yeah, I saw a feline being with the third eye right before I said the third eye part. See, it's so funny because we're all connected. Whenever we do these together, we're all all connected. We have like a telepathic communication. We're all receiving these activations at the same time. So some of us, you know, will see something before I say it, which is super cool. Um, Nick, that was powerful. Saw some feline Lyran last night in meditation. Showed me as an angel. That's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, I highly recommend, um, you know, meditate again with the the feline beings. They're very, very powerful and they've just been very present uh, lately. And and if you've lived past lifetimes as a Lyran or a feline being from Sirius, uh, they can guide you. They can help guide you. You can tap into your power and gifts and abilities and wisdom from that lifetime. Uh, I do have a Lyran activation. I have a couple other ones. I have a Lyran Wars healing transmission. And then I also have a Lyran, um, just a Lyran starseed activation where we connect with ancient Egypt as well. So you can find that on my uh, Star Origins live activation playlist if you'd like. Or I'm sure you could type in Lily Nova Lyran starseed and see what comes up. Beautiful. Victor did the Lyran meditation from the DNA kits last night too. So strong Lyran energies are around. Yeah, it's very interesting. Benji's been seeing or orbs. Awesome. Thank you, Michael. And a mantis uh, uh, being appeared and is still here. I saw the mantis near the end. I saw the mantis. <laughs> That's awesome. I saw him too. Yeah, and again, if you'd like to um, look through some of my I have, uh, workshops and, and full hour-long channeled sessions, a DNA activation, the DNA activation kits. I have ancestral healing, clearing, uh, and cord cutting. And then I have a deep chakra healing with the inner earth beings available in the description. Or if you'd like to just support this channel, there's a, a buy me a coffee link or just like this video, especially if you're here right now and enjoyed this, please like this video and uh, leave a comment as well. Amazing and calming. Thank you, Marcus, so much. Greetings to the felines from the ground crew. <laughs> Katie, a major surge in comfortability and creating a, and expecting abundance. I like that. All right, everybody. I have a birthday party to attend. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Wednesday, I have a Starseed Chats podcast interview with Sherry Diffband. We're going to be talking about navigating 3D interference, overcoming that, uh, and some important messages to Starseeds with what's going on right now. Uh, and then the following week, Finally going to be doing a live CE5 streaming the night sky, calling in Star Family with John Martin. Uh, we're going to do, yeah, kind of like a, a partner session where it'll be me and John, and John will be uh, streaming the night sky. So we'll do just like a global CE5 contact and see what comes up. Super excited about that. And I'll also be sharing tips on how to make contact. And yep. All right, that is, oh yeah, next Sunday, we're, I'm going to have to move the live activation up two hours because I have a family event. So instead of 2 p.m., it'll probably be 12 p.m. Central Time for next Sunday. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to like this video, and I will see you Wednesday for Star Sea Chats.